Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows that were so good they launched careers. Excuse me, my name's Woody Boy. Woody? Hi, I'm Sam Malone. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the best television series and the actors who got their big breaks by being cast in them. Which show slash actor combo is your favourite? Leave us a comment below. Number 10. Stranger Things Millie Bobby Brown it isn't unheard of for a relatively unknown actor to become a star after landing a role on a television show. Stranger things have happened. However, in the case of Millie Bobby Brown, it was literally Stranger Things that happened. Kind of in between, it's like halfway happy. By 515? 515. Yeah. Sure. Promise. The show was a hit from the start, and by the second and third seasons, was setting viewership records on Netflix. Why do you still help? Because I believe in you. Not to mention the 88 to 97% ratings its first four seasons scored on Rotten Tomatoes. And there's one more number we have to mention 11. Millie Bobby Brown was only 12 years old when she was cast as 11, and it changed her life. Roles in two Godzilla movies and the lead in the Enola Holmes franchise soon came after Stranger Things. It's a necessary distraction. I was just beginning to master it. Phase one of the plan complete. I'm coming to find you, mother. The game is afoot. Number nine, Friday Night Lights. Taylor Kitsch and Jesse Plemons. Given that the show never really drew big audiences, the fact that Friday Night Lights stayed on the air for five years is a testament to the high quality of the show. I believe in you, okay? I could care less what anyone else thinks. I believe in you. And I want this for you more than anything. And while most of the younger actors on the show were relatively unknown when the series premiered, that certainly wasn't the case by the end of its run. Taylor Kitsch was probably the biggest breakout star of the show. Hey, what are we gonna do with that extra grand? What are you talking about? What do you mean? We got the mortgage covered plus a grand. Kitsch even looked like he might be a big movie action star with his starring role in John Carter. That film flopped hard. But Kitsch survived and has had a nice career. And these opportunities, they have it for a reason. I'm not gonna be that guy to stop you from achieving your dreams. Jesse Plemons didn't burn as bright initially, but has had a great run movies and television since the show ended. Number 8. Mad Men – John Hamm These days, it's hard to imagine John Hamm being in a television show or a movie without his name being front and centre in advertisements and on posters. But before 2007, that was how it was. In 2005, people weren't writing about his two-episode run on CSI Miami, but in 2008, he was hosting Saturday Night Live for the first of three times so far. Let's face it, we live in a fast-paced world, but if you're as busy as I am, every day you have to make a decision. Am I going to eat lunch, or am I going to go to the bathroom? Well, now you never have to make that choice again. What took Ham from random actor to SNL superstar? Two words, Mad Men. Round and around back home again. To a place where we know we are loved. The multi-Emmy winning show, found in the top 10 of many best of lists, was a cultural phenomenon and the launch pad for Ham's now rather impressive film and television career. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you, sir. Wasn't a compliment. Number seven, Parks and Recreation. Chris Pratt. Spread your wings and learn to fly. Horses don't fly. That's why I'm telling him, learn to fly. The character of Andy Dwyer was only supposed to be a temporary character on Parks and Recreation, but the producers loved him and made him a main cast member. And the rest is history. And a whole lot of working out. Leslie, I, I typed your symptoms into the thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. Because while Parks and Recreation launched his megastar movie career, it did so with Pratt as a buff action star, as opposed to the not so buff and not so bright guy he was on the show. Although the comedy's reviews were mixed for season one, once they hit their stride in season two, it was pretty much all acclaim from then on. This kept the show on the air and allowed Pratt to go from a pawnee to Jurassic World and beyond. Trust me. Goes again. <laughs> Number eight, 
number six, The Office, Steve Carell and John Krasinski. Yes, Steve Carell gained recognition from his time on The Daily Show, but it wasn't The Daily Show that got him paid $5 million to star in Evan Almighty, or a reported $10 to $15 million per movie and $1 million per episode of television. Evan Baxter, you have gone from newsman to congressman to caveman. What makes you so sure God chose you? He chose all of us. That all traces back to The Office and his brilliant turn as Michael Scott on the critically acclaimed sitcom. And speaking of The Office launch parties, the show also no doubt sent John Krasinski's career on a path few would have seen coming prior to its premiere. Look at him. He's laughing. Michael and Jan seem to be playing their own separate game and it's called Let's See How Uncomfortable We Can Make Our Guests. And they're both winning. As one half of the Pam and Jim love affair, Krasinski made his way into our hearts and has since become TV's Jack Ryan and a successful horror film writer slash director. <laughs> Number five, Alias, Jennifer Garner. Hey. hey! What are you guys doing here? We just wanted to come by and see how that car trouble thing was going. With all due respect to 2000's Dude Where's My Car, we can't really give that surprise box office hit credit for Jennifer Garner's career. However, we can give that credit to her next project, which premiered the following year on television screens. The whole world's a nightmare anyway. It's all dangerous no matter what we do. I couldn't live with myself. I'm saying goodbye to you because of risk. It's all a risk. Alias was part of the wave of shows featuring strong, ass-kicking women, and for Ghana, that ass-kicking kicked her career into overdrive. In 2002, she cameoed in Catch Me If You Can, and followed that up over the next couple of years with starring roles in 13 Going On 30 and Electra. And she hasn't looked back since. <laughs> Number four, Cheers, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson didn't show up at Cheers until the fourth season, but arriving late certainly didn't hurt his career. Who's this guy? Well, he's a friend of coaches and he's uh, looking for work. What do you think, you wanna give him a try? Me? Mr. Malone, this is the proudest day of my life. In fact, being on one of the greatest sitcoms of all time most certainly helped. While the long-running, top-rated show made almost every actor on it a household name during the 80s and into the 90s, not everyone emerged on the other side with a career as impressive as Harrelson's. Hey, here's a blushing bridegroom now. Hey. How you doing, Woody? Fine, fine. What's your smile on, Bather? Am I smiling, Sam? Okay, I'll stop. With his newfound fame, Harrison landed a co-starring role in the great 1992 comedy White Men Can't Jump. He followed that up with Indecent Proposal and Natural Born Killers. The 21st century has only seen him do more great work, like his amazing performance in the first season of HBO's True Detective in 2014. I was all right, better than some, but, you know, I, I knew how to talk to people, and I was steady. Number three, ER, George Clooney. In the 80s, George Clooney had a recurring role in ER, a sitcom that aired on CBS for one season. Mark, I told the doctor that you went upstairs to get your ID badge. I did. Well, put it on. Do you have to eat? Everybody has to eat, Aunt Joan. The show sucked, and it didn't do much for his career. However, a decade later, he would once again head to the ER, this time in one of the best medical dramas of all time. I'm fine. I, uh... Hurt my hand a little bit. Hey, you wanted to talk to me about... Yeah, it was about Jake, but it can wait. And this time, his career, following his time on the show, would be that of great Hollywood success and stardom. From acting to directing, Clooney has seen big box office and critical acclaim. While most of us hope to never have to go to the ER, for Clooney, his second trip there was exactly what the career doctor ordered. Because a house always wins. Play long enough, you never change the stakes, the house takes you. Unless, when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. Number two, The Wire, Idris Elba. Idris Elba had been acting in television and the movies for almost 10 years when he landed the role of Russell Stringer Bell on The Wire. You want something copied, man? Search warrant, court papers, anything I do to help, you know? 
I ain't seen you around the way. I'm not around the way no more. You want to find me? I'm right here. And yet, he was, at that point, so relatively unknown to American audiences that most of us watching surely didn't realize he was British and putting on his American accent. Since then, however, Elba has become a very prominent and successful actor on both continents, and one-time people's sexiest man alive, and often mentioned in rumors about who will be the next James Bond. Has anyone ever told you you look a bit like Sean Connery? <laughs> As for the series itself, while the ratings were never very good, The Wire was praised by many critics at the time, and is now often ranked among the five greatest shows ever. I suppose Avon should know about it, though. Yeah, well, I'll handle that. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Sopranos, James Gandolfini. Often called the best show of all time, it brought Gandolfini to true prominence. This isn't gonna work. I can't talk about my personal life. My so-called life, Jared Leto. In just one season, we all fell in love with the show and Jordan Catalano. I was hoping you'd be here. Game of Thrones, Kit Harrington. We'd join the Night's Watch for Jon Snow. We never should have left Winterfell. Don't you wish we could go back to the day we left? I want to scream at myself. Don't go, you idiot. How could we know? Battlestar Galactica, Katie Sackhoff. Howard Wolowitz wasn't the only one that fell for Sackhoff because of Battlestar Galactica. Where's Casey? Who's Casey? Casey, she's my daughter. Karen, who's Casey? She's my daughter. We got Karen, no! Karen! Karen! God damn it! Karen, no! NYPD Blue, David Caruso. Crusoe left in season two, but never did anything that good again. I never raise my hand to a guy if I think he's guilty or I'm trying to find out if he's guilty. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, friends, the entire cast. To say that Friends launched the careers of the main cast members is kind of an understatement. Wow, Monica, you look just like your grandmother. How old was she there? 1939. Yeah, uh, 24, 25. Yeah. Huh. It's like a fun game. The show is one of the most popular and beloved sitcoms of all time. And while the six actors all had careers before Friends, the show basically gave them worldwide superstardom. From the Rachel haircut to how you doing? The show made a cultural impact like few television shows ever have. This was your first home. And it was a happy place filled with love and laughter. And the work each of the actors have been able to do since is pretty much all thanks to their being cast as one of the friends. Let's just say that as far as their careers go, since Friends premiered, it has definitely been their day, their week, their month, and even their years. I feel a connection, somehow. Well, I, I, I did win the American Law Association of America Award three years running. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.